Here's our incubator and outside very close to the building is our generator. This generator was sized to drive basically two different systems in the incubator. An emergency light within each lab and office in the incubator and also our fume hood fans in case we lost power. It would only drive the fume hood fans at a minimum capacity to basically vent those fume hoods probably out of compliance but uh, good enough in an emergency. Lucky for us this generator was sized with a lot of excess capacity so we've used that capacity in two different areas. We use it to bring electrical circuits into the shared lab where we've got several ultra low freezers and this is critical if you've got any bio or life science companies that have need for these ultra low freezers for their samples then having them on an emergency generator is critical because if you lose power then they could use months and thousands of dollars worth of work. We've also brought emergency power into our server co-location room and this was not something that we had originally planned for or designed into the building or the generator but the message here is build a generator as big as you can build it because you need it for server co-location backup, freezer backup, and to drive lights and fume hood fans in case of loss of power. We've screened this thing fairly nicely with a brick wall so that at least from the street you don't see a big gigantic generator just sitting right there. So. There you go. Generator is important. And be sure you design it in.